many are frustrated about some red flags that may have been overlooked, including the suspect's posts on social media and his previous threats of violence. Reporter Whitney Miller joins us now from the control room. Whitney, you spoke with the president of the Freedom Center about this trend of violence. Yeah, Tanya, I did. President Keon says the Buffalo shooting was a hate crime that had a clear goal to destroy black lives and make black people feel they are not safe or welcome. You get angered, you know, because this uh, just seems to be a pattern that happens over and over again. President and COO of the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, Woodrow Keon, says it's time for something to be done about hate crimes in the United States. It all starts with education and awareness, and we keep we keep hammering that point, but we're not getting it. We're not getting enough people involved in understanding the root causes of these sort of issues. Uh, why people feel like they've got to drive three and a half hours uh, to shoot innocent people. Keon believes it's hate that drove 18 year old Peyton Gendron to don tactical gear and gun down 10 people in a supermarket. Police say he was fixated on the so-called replacement theory, the idea that white people are being intentionally replaced by minorities and immigrants. It's a theory Gendron allegedly references online and social media. Because social media seems to play a role in just about everything. Uh, you know, these days, uh, the good, the bad and the ugly. You see social media expert Jeffrey Blevins says online hate has grown over the years. Uh, web pages, you know, they afforded a lot of anonymity to uh, hate groups uh, that allowed them to uh, sadly merchandise to, you know, recruit others, raise money. And it's very difficult for the government to uh, interdict. Uh, because it, you were talking about cyberspace, not a geographical space. Hate crimes expert and lawyer Elizabeth Oyoung says seeing these crimes carried out online can bring on desensitization. Innocent people who have died, um, the stories, their lives, who they are, uh, needs to be told at a greater uh, uh, repetity uh, so that people see that these are humans. Uh, who have been impacted. It could be your family next. It could be um, someone that you love. Freedom Center President Keon says it's important to lean on allyship and education in times like this. He hopes that will lead to a generation that won't tolerate hate. In the control room, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.